Greetings, Cyberdogs. This is Rain Dog coming at you from the sheep enclosure in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. And in the previous episode, we had started work on the Grand Molehole Station. And in this episode, we are going to continue on that part. Because we want to get that station finished and completed so that we can start connecting all the sweet parts of our world together via powered rails. Whew, damn, what an undertaking, but let me tell you guys, when it is done, it is going to be epic. Epic, epic, beyond epic, guys. And um, I'm really enjoying this project, in fact. It is one of the most um, challenging projects that I've had to date because of the scale of it. It's just so big. Um, and, you know, to make that station look like it's going to be really, really awesome, it's going to take a lot of work, and it's going to take a lot of freaking um, really good and uh, solid crafting skills, so I'm really you know, challenging myself in this one to see if I can do something really awesome. I'm using different colors, I'm using different architectural styles and that sort of stuff, so I'm just trying to push the boundaries a bit. Um, and guys, thank you so much for your frequent feedback in the last video, man. I'm really happy to see that a lot of you guys are loving the stations, and um, some of you have mentioned that you are making your own stations to you, and oh man, it's so, so sweet to see you, like, all of the cyber dogs gathering together and uh and making really sweet stuff guys definitely the best mind coming from the community on the interbugs that is for sure i told you what happens when you go out you die so take your sword to the as you bastard ah, man these sheep just don't get it <laughs> right um and guys if you have no idea what i'm talking about that is because you did not watch the previous episode go back and watch the previous episode please ah oh, thank you <laughs> right guys so let's get back to the station um you can hear our mob trap is still producing the butthole is delivering at unbelievable uh, rates and here you can see the station guys and now we have enough white wool to complete um the circumference of the station which i'm happy about and i think what we should probably do now is is just go and collect a little bit more xp um so that we can uh, open up some space in the mob trap to oh oops i was holding shift Wow, that was dumb. Well, I now have enough iron swords forever. <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh, man. Any hoozle, <laughs> we now have enough iron swords for the rest of the series. <laughs> oh, goodness, guys. Remember to not hold shift when making, <laughs> when making swords. Right, so look how many freaking mobs are in here, guys. This is at least, like, plus one level this is at least level 41 or not well i think i think at these levels um you just you don't gain as much xp anymore it's much harder to gain xp so I th i'm thinking maybe what we should be doing is spending our experience points on enchanting something so that um we, we don't waste those experience points that we're getting there any hoozle we will deal with that in another episode guys for now i'm trying to stay focused man because you know how hard it is to stay focused in Minecraft, guys. You, 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 you fellow Minecraftians will know that it is freaking difficult to, to uh, keep your focus. But I'm really, really trying now to, to keep my mind on one task at a time. Because it's, it gets really frustrating, right? When you start a task and you're like, okay, this is sweet. And you do the task for like an hour. You know, it's quite a long time. You've been working on it for, like, for quite a long time. And uh, you start to get frustrated and then you, get, you start to get distracted and maybe you go do something else. And, you know, by the time you get back to the task at hand, um, it's like seven hours or seven days later. Or, or sometimes you just don't even bother to go back to the task. You forget about it and, you know, um, it never gets completed. So, I mean, check how many things around the molehole are still, still need to be completed. And the reason they're not completed is because I get distracted. Um, by other things that I want to do. So I'm trying to cut that out, you know. I'm trying to make sure that we finish our task, or at least get very close to finished, um, before we start on the next one. Creeper, I know you're there, man. You don't have to You don't have to jump around like a butthole. I acknowledge your existence, and I will murderize you later. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to continue making these walls. I'm going to put this video into fast forward mode so you don't have to watch um, this very very boring task but I thought you guys might like to see how how many freaking slabs we're going to get through to to complete this task um, and hopefully we have enough slabbage I mean I was complaining in the previous episode about making too much slabbage but um, I don't think we can ever have enough slabbage <laughs> 
And you can quote me on that one. Guys, we will see you on the other side of this fast forward. And with the power of the internet, let us hit supersonic build speed mode. Kablam! Alright guys, we are back, and as you can see, oh lord, no, we, as you can see, we have a mega fail, <laughs> oh god, um, so basically I forgot to put in the blue line on this side, um, annoying, yes, very annoying, yes, um, so I'm quickly going to do that, um, oh god, this is seriously painful. Um, all right, guys, we're going to have to go back into fast forward mode. This is there were actually some pretty hairy moments in the, in that fast forward. Maybe you guys will point them out in the <laughs> in the comment section below. But um, I almost fell to my death. Almost got blown up by a creeper. Um, there was there was some pretty hairy moments in that fast forwarding, and it just shows you, man, um, crafting is a, is dangerous business, um, especially in survival mode. So um, oh, okay, well this this actually won't take that long. So. You guys can join me for this one. Um, so yeah, guys, I am really loving the the slabbage going on over here. I really love the slab texture. Um, I think that the stone texture is is really rubbish. Um, this texture here, um, it's it's really boring, and um, I really like the slab texture. It's got like a it's got like a, a sort of ancient Greek Roman type feel to it, which um, which I'm digging. I can dig. I can dig. All right. No, you bastard. Okay, so let's do this, guys. And I think what we can do now also is go do some mob trapping because um, it's been a while. And our mob trap will most certainly be full up. But I think we want to spend our experience points on something. Um, it's kind of pointless getting experience points at level 40 because it just takes so long to get them. I think it's just a waste, personally. Alright, let's have a look what it looks like. Dudes, that is looking freaking sweet, man. Seriously. Um, what I am thinking is maybe to do another stripe on this level here. On the bottom level. But I think what we'll do is we will think about the, the next um, amount of stripage once the actual station is built. Alright, sweet. So, let's get rid of the, the dirt and let's have a look what it looks like. Oh yeah, that is looking freaking sweet, man. I'm loving it. Um, I do, yeah, I think, well, the more that I look at it, the more that I think maybe another uh, level of white and blue will actually be sweet. But it might look too much like a hospital then. I mean, it kind of looks like a hospital already, but I'm okay with that. Let's get some torches up in here so we don't start spawning stuff on top of the walls. All right, guys. Awesome, awesome stuff. So this is just fan-freaking-tastic. This is exactly how um, I pictured it coming together. We actually used all of that slabbage. 
which is pretty... Whoa. Dude. He was moonwalking. <laughs> what is up with um, things moonwalking in my Minecraft world, man? I think we have to get this out. It's getting a little bit of Damn! Jeez, this, this mob trap is working unbelievably well, if I do say so myself. Um, mostly due to your guys' input, I have to say. Um, no, 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 no! Ooh. Oh my lord. You gotta be careful with that, guys. Oh my god, and we're out of uh, food. No! Bread, get in my belly! No! Ooh, damn. Man, making a, a railroad station and and farming mobs is hungry business. Ooh, that was freaking close, guys. My lord. Um, right. Anyway, <laughs> where, where, where was I? Uh, man, we got a lot of what? Whoa, guys! Do you see what I've just got? An enchanted bow. I just picked up an enchanted bow from my freaking mob trap. Boom! That is the most awesome of awesomes. So in 1.3, you can pick up enchanted um, items. That is amazing news and just incredible. I love 1.3 so much, man. Oh, so awesome. I'm so happy right now, man. That is so sweet. All right. Anyway, <laughs> that is so cool that we have an enchanted bow. I'm so freaking happy with that. Um, I'm assuming it's a rare drop. So, you know, I'm pretty happy that we got it. Um, let's just put it down. Let's put all this jazz down, in fact. Because we are on a slabbage mission over here, guys. Now, the next part of this um, task is to build the actual platforms themselves. And I wanted to build the platforms out of slabbage too. Um, just to keep it completely everything consistent right so the platforms are going to run like this and then the actual rail track is going to run inside the platform so let's let's do this um right guys let's get back into fast forward mode while i make the platforms of our station and i will see you on the other side of this mega fast forward kablam
right, guys, that is the foundation of the station built. Oh, man, I am so happy with how this has turned out, guys. Look at how sweet this is. Um, so the rail tracks are obviously going to go in here, and we're going to have some sort of a starting mechanism over here. You'll push a button, and a piston will shoot you into um, the golden power track, and you will start your journey in whatever direction you want. And we will have signs around here saying, like, Lakeside Villa, um, you know, outpost, NPC village, farm, etc., etc., etc. All the places we're going to go. Second continent has got to go somewhere. That's like the Eurostar, man. That's like the long distance thing. What? Back up, man. I'm busy talking to this freaking cyber dogs, you bastard. I ripped out your eyeball um, for your insolence. <laughs> so, guys, this is looking awesome, man. I, uh, what do you guys think? I think it is looking sweet. Um, I love it so far. Um, uh, next episode, we are going to be working on the roof, I think, but um, I'm really happy with what we've achieved in this episode so far. Um, it's been really sweet. Um, you know, building this whole thing has been excellent. I think what we're going to do now is actually enchant something. Um, whoa, man, that is just packed um, for the killing. And I think what we're going to enchant is, um, is a pickaxe. So, man, where are my freaking diamonds? Where are my diamonds? I think that um, this is going to be a good expenditure of my diamonds um, that I've got, if I can find them. There's one. One diamond. Where did I put them? Um, they may be over here in the crafting crafting box. Yeah, there they are. So I've got 11 diamonds, right? Now, what I want to do, I do have a diamond sword upstairs, but it's slightly broken. What I want to do is make, like, fresh new items. I want to make... Um, a fresh pickaxe. Um, I need to make leggings, actually. So many of you guys have told me how badly I need to make leggings. And um, those are boots. Um, and those are leggings? No. Man, how, ma how many diamonds do you need to make freaking leggings? Um, jeez. But then I'm not going to have enough to make a pickaxe and a sword. So I'm not going to make leggings <laughs> just yet. <laughs> oh man, I know that irritate, it must be irritating you guys a lot. My, my diamond sword is almost broken though, you see, so I don't really want to... I don't want, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a fresh sword and a fresh pickaxe, right? And I'm going to... Um, I am going to go and enchant them with the ridiculous amount of levels that we have now. Um, let's just put some of this stuff down. Whoa! Dude, this station is not open. Station not open. <laughs> Man, that is some seriously weird stuff going on, I have to admit. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the enchanting tower and enchant this jazz. Because basically what I want to see is how if we get like a butt ton of experience from the um, from the mob spawner. Uh, man, how do we get into the enchanting... Oh, uh, here we go. This is how we get into the enchanting room again. So let's go enchanting, man. Let's get our sword up to beast level and get our pickaxe up to beastier level um, than it already is. Man, I hear a freaking spider in here. Hey! Not welcome! Butt bandit. Right. <laughs> so let's do the pickaxe first, right? Um... Boom. Now, 30. We got 30 right away, guys. We got 30 right away. Epicness. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. Bam! Efficiency 4, unbreaking 3. Now, if that isn't an, an amazing mining pickaxe, I don't know what is. What I'm assuming is unbreaking means that it takes a sh shooby long... <laughs> a, sh a scooby long time to break. And um, efficiency 4 means that it's going to just hack through anything and everything, like, instantly, basically. Which is... Oh, man. That is so epic. How lucky was that, guys? Now, let's see how many um, experience points we can get from a really stacked up mob spawner. Um, let's see if we can get back up to I, I doubt it, but this mob spawner is completely and utterly ran. Um, I mean, this. There are so many mobs in here. It's unbelievable. We've got three levels so far. Four levels. Five levels. Six levels. Seven levels. 
Okay, so we got seven levels from that stacked up um, mob spawner. That is really awesome. Um, no, six levels. Sorry, six levels. Whoa. Oh, God. What have I done? I've unleashed the beast. Um, right, so we got we got there. We now we got seven levels from a full mob spawner. That is epic. So, two more mob spawners, and we'll be able to enchant our uh, diamond sword. But efficiency four, unbreaking three. How epic is that, guys? That is the sweetest freaking thing. I am so happy. Let's let us equip this bad boy and, and fling it around a bit. Woo! Damn! Damn! Woo! Damn! Man, this is gonna this is gonna make getting obsidian like like absolutely easy. So so easy to get obsidian. Um, man, that that is so sweet, guys. Well, this is the end of this episode. I am uh, really really keen to just crack on working on uh, this station, guys. So um, I'm gonna end the episode here. We've already been going way too long, and guys, this has been Rendo playing Minecraft Survival. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please freaking subscribe thank you and guys we will see you in the next episode where we will be doing two doggerless entries and building the roof of the station oh man what an epic epic day of minecraft guys oh, God, I can't wait for the next one. Right, goodbye everybody we'll see you in the next one